Greetings and salute. Elder Black Light, Soul School Channel, a lot 24-7. Defenseless. The black man is defenseless without the knowledge. Self, Allah, and his open enemy, the devil. And we're going to bring out this point in this series. Part one. Eventually, I hope you'll see where I'm coming from.
Good evening and welcome to the God Debate. My name is Malcolm Thaler, and together with Joseph Stanfield, Arnav Dutt, Mike Ray, and the Dean's Fellows, we've organized the debate that you're about to see. Now, whether you're here tonight to hear an exchange of views, an enlightening discussion, or just a good show, I know you're not here to hear a long speech from an undergraduate, so I will keep this short. First, allow me to recognize those in the Notre Dame community who made this debate possible. The God Debate II was sponsored by the Institute for Scholarship in the Liberal Arts and the Henkel's Lecture Series with additional generous support by the College of Arts and Letters, the College of Science, and the College of Business, Campus Ministry, the Classics Department, the History Department, the Program of Liberal Studies, and Chemistry, the Center for Civil and Human Rights, ILS, and the Department of German and Russian. The Center for Philosophy of Religion, the Center for Undergraduate Scholarly Engagement, the Rooney Center for American Democracy, the Glenn Family Honors Program, and Learning Beyond the Classroom. Finally, I would just like to read a quick passage that beautifully sums up the reason why, why we are here tonight. Kenneth Burke writes this in The Philosophy of Literary Form. Imagine that you enter a parlor. You come late. When you arrive, others have long preceded you and they are engaged in a heated discussion, a discussion too heated for them to pause and tell you exactly what it is about. In fact, the discussion had already begun long before any of them got there, so that no one present is qualified to retrace for you all the steps that had gone before. You listen for a while until you decide that you have caught the tenor of the argument, and then you put in your oar. Someone answers, you answer him, another comes to your defense, another aligns himself against you, to either the embarrassment or gratification of your opponent, depending on the quality of your ally's assistance. However, the discussion is interminable. The hour grows late, and you must depart. And you do depart, with the discussion still vigorously in progress. So now, please, Sam Harris and William Lane Craig. So, the purpose of me showing you the little clip of the God debate. That's what this whole thing is all about. Your whole existence is about defining who is God. Who are you in relationship to God? And who is the devil? In the next video, we're going to break it down for you. If you don't have the knowledge of God, yourself and the devil, you have no defense for the current climate that we in here in America, you are defenseless. We don't try to talk to the Caucasian because his mind was made up ever since uh, the foundation of America when he was writing up the Constitution. His vision was in that Constitution. The black man, while he was writing that, while the white man was writing that constitution, the black man was his slave, his prisoner of war, in extreme misery. And this is what he intended his future to be like. But somewhere down the line, Allah and the person of Master Farah Muhammad has intervened. This is to be continued.